Hey everyone, has been a while since my last video as I was very busy recording a long class to Creative Fabrica. Anyway, in today's video I will show you how to make this design using some AI generated images and Photoshop. I'm using a website called Neural Love, which is another great AI image generator. By using the images on Neural Love, I found some nice prompts and I used this one to create this image for this spooky guy in front of a candle. First, I had to convert the image to PNG as the original images of Neural Love are downloaded in another format. Then I used Adobe Express to upscale it. I placed the upscaled image on my Photoshop artboard and began to mask the guy from the background. Then I added another AI generated image as a background and started to mask the borders using a soft brush. After that I used a, a hue and saturation layer to make the colors of the guy as close as possible to the background color, which is this blue light color. Then I used the filter gallery to add a grain and dry brush effect to the image to remove the AI look and add more of a vintage style to the image. I thought to add some intense script font to the image as the overall atmosphere of the image looks old, creepy and vintage, especially with this candle in the middle. So I played with a couple of fonts, added some strokes until I ended having two versions of the design. One was a script font at the top and another was with a modern font. After that I added a texture that I got from Google. So to add a texture to your design, just place the texture and change the blending mode to multiply to create this cool, nice effect. Now to prepare the final design for printing, simply merge all the layers together. Then using the select tab, choose color range and choose shadow. Now with the fuddiness at zero, pick the black color and choose invert. This will select the black color from the image. So if you mask the black color from the selection, this will delete the black color and leave the design with only the other colors. Now you can export your design for printing without the black color. And that's it. That was a quick tutorial. But feel free to ask about anything in the comments of this video and I'll be happy to assist you. Thanks for watching.